What you're looking at here is a mini database for the company Play-Doh, Inc., and the sales is in thousands of dollars, and it's for these employees. So I've got my total column here for quarter three, and then the months that make up the third quarter. So for July, you can see that Marge Simpson is in cell B6, also the same cell, but a different worksheet for August, and then September. So when I go back to the total worksheet, I want to bring in all those cells for those different months for the third quarter. Just hit the equals key on the keyboard and go to July. Select the cell. And then notice up here in the formula bar, it's got the name of the worksheet and then the operator that separates the name of the worksheet and the name of the cell. So within the worksheet, July, we're looking at B6. If you hit enter on the keyboard and you select the cell, you can see it up here in the formula bar and it's just bringing in the number from July but I want to include all the other numbers and add them up to get the total for the third quarter. To do that, let's go ahead and click back up here in the formula bar, hit the plus key on the keyboard, and then go to August, and select, it's going to be the same cell, but different worksheet, B6, and then go ahead and hit the plus key on the keyboard, go to September, and select the final cell in our formula, then hit enter, come back up here, and there you go. Equals July, the cell B6 for July, B6 in August, B6 in September, 61,000. Now before you go ahead and click and drag the autofill handle down to fill in the rest or just double click really fast because it's in a column, let's go ahead and hit undo. There's another way that you can go about doing this but you have to have some structure like I have. For example, Mr. Humphreys is in B7 and on July he's also in B7, also August and September. So if I go back to the total worksheet and I want to quickly add those up without going from worksheet to worksheet, then let's go ahead and hit the equals key on the keyboard and type in the function sum, hit the tab key to pop open the syntax so we can see it down below. And we're going to go to July and select the cell B7. But then instead of clicking from one worksheet to the next, I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on September. Then look back up here and see what's going on. It says it's going to take the sum of July, colon means through, September. So July, what's in between or through September is August and it's going to be the same cell for every month or every worksheet, and that's going to be B7. So if I hit enter, select the cell again, there you go. July through September, B7 for each worksheet or each month. Cool. And then we can just go ahead and do an autofill, double click on the black cross to quickly copy and paste the formula. Now the thing that you want to know is that if you do it this way, you don't want to muck about with your worksheets down below, because if you take one worksheet and move it out of the formula, because remember, let's go back to the total, the colon means through, so July through September. Well, what's July through September? It's not August, it's on the outside. So instead of being 43, it's now 30 because we're missing August. So if we click and drag August back into the mix, so it's through, go back to the total, now it's 43 instead of 30. Ah, <sighs> that was a close one. So don't mess with your worksheets if you do it this way, okay? It's just a shortcut, but it does have its drawbacks. Now because these formulas are pulling in the numbers from the other worksheets, they are linked. So any changes that I make on those other worksheets, it'll update it here. So like for Marge, 61, and then for Mr. Humphreys, 43. So if I come to July, and I go 0 and 0 for Marge and Mr. Humphreys, and go back to the total, instead of 61 and 43, they're now 44 and 28. And it's not just formulas. For example, we've got a cell here that has the text total. If I come into another cell and hit equals, and I select that cell, it equals whatever's in that cell, in this case text, when I hit enter, there you go, it's just linking it up. So if I make changes in this cell and get rid of the S and totals and hit enter, it updates it here as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.